What is this animation I hear? What? Oh, that's y'all's trick themes right there. I was just kind of, I was just kind of like, like what? <laughs> I was talking to myself. Okay, so I wasn't going to pull my gun out, um, but you turned him into a synth, so I think I should. Should I or not, or should I save it for a moment? Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, what do you mean I turned him into a synth? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm telling you, I'm, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you turned him into a synth. <laughs> I he was walking around. He was walking around a happy NPC last week, with with uh, thoughts of whatever the GM thinks he should have thoughts of, and actions of whatever the GM thinks he should have actions of. And uh, and he was walking around town, entirely oblivious to his own existence because he's NPC and let's face it, they don't really have existences. Uh, and all of a sudden, boom, 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 he turned from an elf or whatever fucking thing he was, and you know, generic NPC into uh, into a synth. Douglas, you know better than anyone that's not how my mind works. Uh, okay, yes, no, I know. Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Damage plus 18, so it's 1d10 plus 18. Okay, so I'm gonna... Is anybody else uh, in the same line of fire as him, but further away than he is? Um... I'm gonna say no. They're in, They're getting out of his way. Oh, that's really handy for the ridiculously innocent empty face. Uh, so what, what negatives am I taking to hit him? Oh, what's your big gun skill? Uh, not very high. <laughs> <laughs> not very high at all. My big gun skill is 44. Let's see here. So just from him running, uh, that's a minus 5, so 39... I hit him twice. Yes, I. Yeah. Uh, and and eight, eight of her bullets pepper the landscape around him. <laughs> it's like, do, 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 do. You, you just hear, and you see someone's hat fall off. Oh, <laughs> Joey! This is a Western. <laughs> Well, it's Fallout. It's you. If it's not a Western, then more than likely it's going to be way too far flung future. Uh, Actually, we don't want to kill him, do we? Because we need to get information out of him. Well, I, I remember the things in the pocket. Uh, that's the thing I want. That's not the shit you want. Yeah. <laughs> well, you hit him in the chest and the stomach. Is he slowing down? No. How far away is he now? Ah, uh, from you. Like, are you still outside the bar? Like, just outside the bar? I guess. He's a good thirty to forty feet away from the bar. Okay. Oh, that's not far. We can keep shooting him for ages, yeah. Except it's his turn. Okay. And he make and he turns right. Oh, <sighs> into a wall. <laughs> because Tess blew out his eye. Yep. So he hits the wall and then he falls down. Excellent. And that's when you hear something, yes, and Jed, mm -hmm. since you guys are closest to him, you guys hear something. Beep. 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 <sighs> fucking really? Oh, fuck it. No, I can, I'm, I'm continuing to sprint towards him. You said you are going to kill us today. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nah, nigga. Uh, beep, 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 beep. <sighs> Turns around and fucking darts the other way. 
Jed. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going on towards him. Oh, no, you're right at him. Okay, good. What do you do? Uh, I'm searching him. Beep. Beep. As your hand goes lower. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I'm going to go for it. Fuck it. You only live, um, you only live until you die. You grab his dick and he's like, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm putting that on his bill. <laughs> <laughs> Later to his synth friends, he's going to be like, and then he grabbed my dick and I jizzed in my pants. <laughs> oh, no, you're looking for the recipe? Uh, yes. Uh, you find the hollow tape in the pocket. I find the hollow tape. Okay, excellent. Do I find the information about the meeting? No. Well, it, uh, you... you you have any way to access the holotape at this time? Uh, ba no. Basically, do you have a Pip Boy, a computer, or other? Uh, I don't think I do. Uh, nah, I don't Vic, think I do. Vic was the only one with a Pip Boy. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that I, I haven't got anything like that on me. No, I haven't got anything like that on me. Okay, so currently you have no information about the meeting. I have no information about the meeting. No. Um, uh, did I, uh, didn't I hear over here what it was going to be from uh, uh, from earlier? Um, no. No, you didn't hear anything about that. Okay. Uh, all, you, will... all you heard was delivery somewhere, and then you... And then you heard from behind you, here's the recipe when you're in the bar. Okay. Then I will turn around and if crap is, is if, if crap has come over or anybody else has come over, I'll tell them uh, we need to examine the holotape and see if there's any information about the delivery on there. But there's, of course, yeah. one thing you got to worry about first. Which is? The beeping synth. Five. So I hear a five. Yes. And a synth like uh, voice. Five. Uh, Four. Get, get away from that uh, thing. Three. Uh, think, 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 think. <laughs> uh, think, think. Okay. Um, I cheese it. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Yeah, I'm, I'm cheesing it now. Uh, oh, a good, a good, uh, a good oh, three or four meters a second. <laughs> Jason, Tessa, the dog, Jed, they're all running towards the caravan. Uh, I think Bender overtakes me at some point. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and from behind you, you hear the familiar sound of a car blowing up. Not looking. <laughs> nope. No thanks. <laughs> well, hey, Jed. Yes? If you had any injuries on you at all, they're healed. Oh, yeah. Well, this is me. I keep myself in tip-top neck. <laughs> well, yeah, ghouls heal. Also, you're a ghoul. <laughs> you absorb radiation. Ghouls heal and radiation. Uh, yes, okay. Oh, uh, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, that's, a, that's a fair point, actually. So uh, you right um, now feel, you feel really well. You feel good. You're like, whoa, man, when did I drink coffee? <laughs> nice. Uh, Not as strong as methamphetamine, but it lets you keep your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that is if you brush them. Uh, who needs teeth anyway, right? But, Tessa and Jason, do any of you have a Geiger counter? Nope. Nope. Does the dog have a No, the dog wouldn't. The have dog! It. I would believe the dog would. <laughs> eh. 
crap you helped build it. Would the dog have a Geiger counter? I didn't help build the dog. What? It, it used it used to be an iBot. Oh and, yeah. And then I and then I saw the uh, the game the game that came out uh, reforged or something like that. And it had like a yeah. robot dog, and I'm like, ooh, she has to have that. Yeah, it probably would. Okay. The dog's Geiger counter is going... is uh, pretty much off the scale. <sighs> Better get out of here. Yeah, no kidding. I don't feel like jettifying tonight. <gasps> Nor do I. Or any other night, for that given matter. Yeah, I'd hate to see your tits fall off. <gasps> I would hate to see them fall off too. Of course, <laughs> I rather like these things. You, They're very squishy and comfortable. Of course, you don't. Oh. You don't know if it's because of the synth, or because of the green clouds that roll through. Can I just point out that it would make an excellent medical paper? So if your tits do fall off, could you record it for me? Because I'd love to see it. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll record uh. it Suddenly on the radio, everyone hears, any mission is incoming. <laughs> yeah. But technically, yeah, they do hear on the radio. They're like, hey, if, you, if you're all around outside, you might want to get in because a rad storm's blowing through. Whoa! Also, if you're on Main and 34th, please avoid because a synth just blew up. <laughs> Oh uh, uh, yeah, back to the caravan. Indeed, back to the caravan, and pretty much, pretty much all the NPCs are in like are somewhere else because the bus is not exactly radioactive proof. Right? And Zarek's inside the truck. I don't know why they're worried about. If they're lucky, they could become ghouls. <laughs> Oh, wait, there is uh, one NPC that's currently just in a lounge chair sipping on a nuka cola <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I have no idea what's wrong with you people. <laughs> this is wonderful weather. You have a very strange hobby. Well, he's a ghoul. Oh. Remember Ghoul Sniper? Oh, yeah. So, Jed, you have someone to dance naked with you in the rad storm. Joy. Not watching that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he just has no idea how to feel. <laughs> but uh, I take it, Jed, you hang out with the, the ghoul sniper for a while while the rad storm comes through? No, I'm going to examine the tape for, uh, uh, for well, A, the recipe, which is what I care about. Uh, I'll be about the, the meeting because uh, you know, the crap won't feel happy unless he's murderized someone for the pittance of money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... Oh, I'm going to tell Zarek about the um, synth because he cares about bits and pieces. Well, you guys currently notice Zarek inside the van drinking a green. Blowing Nuka Cola. Yeah, so I tell hey Zarek, there's a synth that may or may not be in uh, too small of pieces to be able to put back together that exploded back in town. But you know, I just let you know in case those small pieces interest you. Uh crap. What? I was very ready to ask, what's a kapa? Is that some form of Russian word? <laughs> But it's me misspelling caps because my hands are numb. Why are they? Crap, stop masturbating. <laughs> uh, I walked right into that one. <laughs> yes, you did. Be even funnier if Scarlet said her hands were. <laughs> but not. Nah. So basically. I don't know if uh, Jed has uh, a terminal in his ambulance. I doubt it. Those I, things are massive and require a lot of power. Okay. Terminals? Are you kidding me? Where'd 
not massive. They're the size of a freaking MacBook. No, well, not a MacBook. <laughs> They're like the, iMac. Not really iMac. More of like the little blue and white Macintosh, only with a built-in keyboard. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't have a mouse either, so you don't, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, uh, I don't know, but I'm assuming it's either. So I'm assuming if he doesn't, then Zarek does. Yeah, Zarek is currently working on two, and there's one in the front seat that works. So, uh, well, if you've got three, you know, I think it's very likely I got half of one. <laughs> Not too sad. Six to one seems like a fair ratio to me. Yeah. Uh, well, he's currently he's currently fixing one for you. Okay, cool. There you go. Then I will, um, uh, I will use, I will use the one in his front seat if he is willing to let me. Oh no, no, you're fine. You're fine. I'm cur- like, I'm just gonna continue drinking. I guess when the the rad storm started coming through, I was in here drinking. <laughs> I was in here drinking this brand new Nuka Cola Frost. Ooh, nice. It looks like uh, Jed's piss. And now that I'm in- <coughs> to be fair, I sell that as well, but I'm not telling you to which 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 uh, drinking production company. Uh, I mean, it doesn't begin to slur. No, I got this from Nuka World. Okay. Trust me, I got this from Nuka World, and if it is your piss, there's going to be more problems for you than not having a terminal. It's not not if it wouldn't have to do with me. I just sell it. <laughs> okay then. Uh, besides... Also, comment on the numb hands thing. My hands <clears> are <throat> numb, but that's because my room's way too cold. Scarlet, you too. Stop masturbating. I'm not. That's a good way to warm yourself up by a couple degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet's just having her head in her hands, going, "Why me?" Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, if it's a cold night, um, you know, I just don't want to put the heat in on. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> uh, <I'll... laughs> stop that. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Fucking stop. Stop. Just stop. Stop. Stop it. No more. Scarlet's uh, just not having, not having it. Just fucking stop. Bad. Uh, so yeah, you're free to use the terminal. Uh, crap. You can either take you gotta take a cold beer from the fridge, or you can actually enjoy one of the many Nuka Colas, or or a Vim, or a Sunset. I heard beer. That's all I care about. Yoink. Yeah. And Tessa, go ahead and enjoy some time. Dog underneath the table. Not enough room. Aww. Dog goes under table. Even though it wants to say smart comment. <laughs> it's like, nope. I will be quiet. It's like, <laughs> my truck, my rules. <clears throat> anyway. I'm going to sit uh, in the front seat so that way Tessa and uh, Jason have some room together. They can enjoy some drinks. Don't um, expect a show. Derek closes well, the curtain because he doesn't care. <laughs> no, we, are, we already agreed. It's fairly unlikely that her tits will fall off. <laughs> Zarek, well, what kind Zarek, of show were you talking about? Derek slowly moves his eyes over to Jed. I thought you'd be in. I thought you'd be enjoying the rad storm right now. Oh uh, no, I got to I mean, uh. Product, man. I'm gonna get the product, you know. I just, 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 the, uh, just a little bit, you know, just enough for now. That's just, just some. Um, it'll be all right if I just have a little bit, you know. Maybe, um, uh, so I uh, just, um, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna get some, all right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm thinking, um... Jed. So, so I examined the tape. Uh, Jed. Yeah, 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 I just need just need a little bit. That's all. That's all. If we just get some, it'll be fine. <laughs> Jed, <laughs> have you? You stroke it out there, buddy. 
Dad, have you been? Have you been? So fucking hard. Dad, have you been sampling your own product again? I I'm not obsessed. I don't know what you mean. It's got nothing down. No, no, I can do it any time. It's not. It's just. Uh, it's not. I, I uh, I've done it before. I just. I, I just put it down. Leave it down. I I've got. I, no, no, no. It's not an obsession. I don't know what you're talking about. Jason, what the I, fuck happened? He killed the synth. Okay. And why? Apparently, it has a recipe of some sort on it. Oh, lovely. Which which Jed has? It seems like he's stroking out about. Just, just let me put it in. Just just gonna. I'm just gonna just I'm just I'm just gonna get in. It'll be all right then. I can see. <laughs> He's choking out, man. Come on, come on, just don't even that. <laughs> Douglas, I'm not your wife. You don't have to ask me to put it in. <laughs> I, I like start rocking back and forth. As, as, as the, Dude, as you're free to you're, the, uh, you're free to use the terminal. As the terminal starts playing. Terminal's up and running. Is you just gotta put the hollow tape into the port underneath, not underneath oh, yeah. the terminal, but like underneath the keyboard. Yeah, I, I slumped in the chair, relaxed. There it is. Uh, as I slotted it in, and, it and then you playing. then you gotta enter the command prompt in order to open up the hollow tape. Oh man, come on, just just give me some. Uh, as I, as I, the one that you need to repair, the one that you're repairing my old one, that's all I can say. Um, <laughs> no. I don't even think you I ever get, had one. I, like, I got these out of a bur out of an old building. As I get frustrated with the needle slash open slot. Um, uh, and, uh, 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 slot the hollow thing into the, into the hole. And Jed creams his pants. Yeah, that happens when the recipe comes up. <laughs> yes, you hear as you enter the command prompt in your shaky, jittery hands, because apparently you're sampling your own goddamn product again. Talked about this, Jed. <laughs> no, how 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 it? I mean, it's not an obsession. Is it a passion? Everything is a passion. So it's a passion. Oh, so it's a passion, not an obsession. Is it named Calvin Klein? Uh, <laughs> no, because there are no underage girls. <laughs> Technically, there's one in in this call right now. Uh, that's true, but she's not. She's not prancing around on the TV, is she? You know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yes. Well, yes, uh, you do uh, get the recipe for super, for basically a stronger version of Jet. I'm, I'm going to get the location where the deal's going down. No. No? Oh, shit, crap, you're out of luck. You don't get to murderize random, relatively almost innocent people for, all, very, for little to no reason. <laughs> Because technically the the meat was in the bar at the same time you guys were there talking about breaking into the meat to steal this holotape. Do, do you get some names or anything like that? No, this is just the recipe. Uh, well, that's enough to get my fix fixed. Uh, but what am I going to do about the other guys? Uh... uh... uh Go walking out in the rad storm while I put a, put my headphones in and they could have fun in on the bed. Okay, I will go for a walk in the rad storm and pick up the uh, and pick up the ingredients. You you're looking at it and you know for sure that you already have the ingredients in your truck or in your ambulance. Uh, okay, and then uh, you're determined to turn me back into a pusher, aren't you? I was trying to break away. I was trying to break away. My character was trying to break away. I've become an honest to goodness, an honest and proper thief, you know. And what do you do? You give me, you give me a recipe for super drinks. 
Hey, at least you stole it. Uh, that's true, I suppose. That's true. Okay, yeah, uh, I, I will go. I will as, go you're, as, as you're leaving, Zarek's like, by the way, I left you a present. All you gotta do is press the button. Uh, okay, cool. Thank you. And don't forget your damn uh, holotape. I'll take the holotape. I will go, uh, on, uh, I will go to the truck and make some super trucks. Uh, everyone in town is indoors, right? Yep. Because of the rat storm? Yep. Okay, I will go around town and leave um, large, you know, like uh, placards. Okay. I will, I will leave placards around town. How long have I got this rat storm for? Several hours a day? Eh. Uh, thinking, thinking. Eh, I'd say maybe a good four hours. Okay, then I will rush some not proper placards, but like uh, like maybe A two or something like that. Something I can print out, or you know, just not not print out because I have a printer. But um, something I can I can write fairly easily and do like a whole bunch of them, and leave like twenty of them stapled to uh, walls around town. With a sign that says "Free Super Drugs" mm -hmm. and some Super Drugs attached to the sign. Uh, except it's going to take you longer than that to make Super Drugs. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh shit! Well, I can't enjoy the Rodstone then. I already listed the recipe in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I will make. Uh, I will make Super Drugs. All right. Oh, you're not going to press the button. I will press the button. As soon as you press the button, your uh, hospital tent that you usually set up automatically yes. deploys. Oh, nice. Oh, well, that's cool. That's going to save me so much work. Now that I haven't got the system anymore, so the pets ruined out. Because you want that to be Damn it. I was half expecting Scarlet to say something there. I'm not paying full attention, sorry. Well, that's because you're an ungrateful bitch that doesn't like her closet. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I will go and make super drugs because, you know, that sounds like a fun way to spend an afternoon. Indeed. You're enjoying your time with your super and your vat. Or your bathtub, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> your vat or your bathtub well yeah Jed's the type of person that makes bathtub drugs sweet even better but basically the recipe calls for five dozen eggs yes beat the fuck Seems out of them uh, yep. start putting them in a bowl mix the fuck out of them and what do you get messy egg <laughs> <laughs> Penis! <laughs> now, in order to make in order to make this super jet, you basically need to do the same things that you do for jet, which is boiling cow shit, catching the vapor of said cow shit. But you got to make sure while you're boiling the cow shit, you add in other ingredients. So you're not telling me that I mix it with water and stick it in the microwave for ten minutes? <laughs> <laughs> That's technically how you make jet. You put cow shit in water and then you put it in the microwave. Oh, so jet and crack are quite similar then, really. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, crap. Hmm. What is jet's real life comparison? It's got to be math, hasn't it? I always thought it was heroin. Uh, because Douglas, there is a meth. There is a methamphetamine in Fallout. It's called yeah, okay. it's called uh, burnout gum or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Afterburner gum. Yeah. I think it is an amphetamine. 
Yeah, true. Uh, whatever. It's on my what does matter is I've got some. Yeah. yeah, you got you you actually are able to make yourself a supply of super drug. Super drug, super drug. Basically, double like double the good time of jet. Give it a uh, pretty much a ninety percent ninety percent chance of making you hooked on it. Yeah, so same as normal jet then. Only there's an extra thing to it. Not a side effect. It's an extra boost. Like you double the allotment of time that jet. Like you double the the jet effects. And then yes. you add in that it, at the same time, it pretty much raises raises small guns. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, it raises small guns, big guns, energy weapons, unarmed, melee weapons, and throwing. Okay, it raises all the combat uh, skills. Yes. This, that's going to make um, well, that's going to make the violent people happy. But the, 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 I think that is good news. Do you know why I think that is good news? Why? Because it means they'll kill each other quicker. <laughs> True. And you'll have a lot of customers. Uh, oh no, I, I, I'm, in a, I'm in a happy mood. There's been a round storm. I've got a new recipe. I, I got some. Uh, and I needed a little, you know? I just needed a little. That's all I wanted. This is just a small amount. And, and that's fine. And I got some, so I'm happy. So I'm gonna give it away for free. Did you? Did you? Did you try your own product again? I I don't need to try my product. The idea of my product, uh, ideas are more important than actuality to Jet. So the idea of his own product is sufficient. Yeah, nice. Mm. But I swear to God, if I find any of that, if I find any of that stuff in my morning coffee, I'm going to punch you. No, no, no. I, I told you the system I used. True, true. So, in a homeopathic way, how are you going to sell this? I'm going to put signs up around town and say free super drugs. We have super drugs attached on the bottom. <laughs> how is that homeopathic? Uh... Because instead of it being all concentrated in a small tent, it's diluted in a large um, neighborhood. Dear God. <laughs> At least it's not dumping it into the water supply. Well, no, because, only because you might drink it then accidentally. Otherwise, I would. So, I, dr I drink the water supply in the, in the truck, dude. I don't drink city water. Oh, cool. Where's all city water supply? <laughs> you feel a rubber band hit you from far away. No, no, no. Uh, I'll wait. How often do round storms happen? Not very often. Uh, eh, they they kind of happen here and there in, in the Fallout verse nowadays. I'll, I'll just wait till nighttime and go and put some signs up around town to say free super drinks. Okay. Because you know, that sounds fun. Jason? Uh, what? Why did we blow up a synth now? You think I know? Well, you were with Jed. And you said we, so... Well, we shot it until it exploded. Yes, but to why? Me, to, to me... Why did you randomly attack the synth? Because Jed wanted the thing it had. Uh, of course. I only needed a little bit. Just enough for now. You know, to get by. Because you need to get by, don't you? And, you know, later it'll be fine. I can take care of it, I promise. <laughs> don't worry, later I can stop whenever I want. Yeah, I absolutely could. I've heard that, man. Oh, man. Okay, so Jason, you're getting drunk with Tessa. Yeah. I think. Tessa, are yep. you drinking soda or beer? Beer. 
Why does no one want the Vim? Oh, Act oh, oh. Actually... She's already on a drinking thing. She might as well just finish it up until she sleeps. Hey, crap. That, Why? That's my view on it. In, in the like old Fallout games or Fallout 3 or New Vegas, was there ever a point where they said they found a cure for, for uh, FEV? No. Huh. So in Fallout 4... One guy was able, like, there's this guy, Virgil, who was able to cure his FEV. Of course, it was a particular strain that he infected himself with to get out of the Institute. Thus, he knew he was able to cure it himself. He is currently working on generalizing it. Hmm. To, you know, other strains of FEV. Like the flu, like the uh, flu vaccination. Okay. But there's another theory. Not really a theory. There is uh, one instance of it working. Up in Far Harbor in Maine, and I'm pretty sure you could find a ghoul named Stephen King there somewhere. Yeah. There's a factory called the <clears throat> Vim Bottling Company. In that Vim Bottling Company, they make a particular brand of cola called Vim. It was a high competitor to Nuka Cola. Funny thing is that uh, Vim had a Vim Quartz before Nuka Cola had a Nuka Quartz, but Nuka Cola still sued Vim and won. There's that little bit of a uh, Nuka Cola's a bitch. But there were a group of super mutants that taken refuge here, and one of them was drinking Vim. While he was drinking Vim, he lost his... Like, he actually gained his mental faculties back. Like, he could think properly, he could speak properly, and he wasn't aggressive. <clears throat> so, people... Like, there are people saying that Vim has a way of curing uh, FEV, but I'm like, eh, maybe it just dilutes the FEV. All right. All right. So you guys blew up a synth. Now there's a rad storm. Jed has more drugs. Oh boy. Well, if you're gonna be trapped here, you might as well make yourself useful. Make some ammo. <sighs> Come on, I already got the burner all warmed up for you. Melt down some scrap, make the brass, put in the cap. You know how to do it. Yeah, I do. Don't worry, you can still talk to your girlfriend while you're waiting. <laughs> I was hoping to occupy her mouth a different way. <laughs> and Scarlet just became beet red. <laughs> it's twelve thirty in my brain. Around this time I'm I'm very cutesy and very easy to blush, so yes, thank you. I'm just about as red as my beanie. Oh, boy. So about four hours pass. Jed has himself a bathtub vat filled with super, super jet. Okay. <laughs> Just randomly outside the truck somewhere. Yay! <laughs> is, there a high, is there a high school uh, in this city? Nope. No. Uh, and I, I would say there might be some dilapidated high school, but since this town came out of nowhere, so yeah, pretty much there is no high school here. There's a learning center. Sounds good. Are you going to give drugs to high school kids? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> uh, kids, here's a PSA. If you ever see Douglas near high school, run. <laughs> he might just be... And don't buy what he's trying to sell. <laughs> I was going to say call the police because he's not allowed within 500 yards of a school zone. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. And Douglas is just being silent. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, no. Uh, 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 all my lives within the five hundred yards. Uh, no, I I can go anywhere. Um, almost. <laughs> almost. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sure I'm allowed to lots of places. Are you allowed in an all girls club? Uh, technically, she's this all girls clubs are not illegal. Yes. Wait, what? I didn't hear that. Okay, so you know, back in, actually, it's not they're not illegal, but it's heavily, heavily frowned upon. Huh. You know, back in the day, you've heard of uh, you know Sherlock Holmes and Eighty Days Around the World. Is it Eighty Days Around the World? Yeah, it was eighty. One hundred and eighty. Oh, yeah. Really? Okay. Nah, so both, both of the, in both Sherlock Holmes and these around the world, there's these things called gentlemen's clubs, right? Oh uh, yeah. And yeah. they and they genuinely exist. Mm -hmm. They're real. They're real places. They are. Uh, sorry. They are. Yes. Only really in London, uh, but there are a couple of them around. Really, all they are is a really nice restaurant. There's a private restaurant. Uh, and, a, and a thing like that. For instance, there's one called Frontline. There's a Frontline organization in America, but there's a journalist club in London that's called Frontline. Bottom floor is a restaurant. Middle floor is a private restaurant, only for members. And top floor, they hold... Um, and top floor is like where they preview documentaries and things before they come out, you know? Mm -hmm. for the, yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever. Uh, but they're, anyway, they're gent so they have gentlemen's clubs, uh, and they used to have uh, men-only uh, rules. But because that's sexist, that's heavily, heavily frowned upon, and it's not really allowed anymore. And if anybody ever does it, they get they get written up to the newspapers, and they get told, no, you must accept women members if women members want to come, and vice versa. Hmm. Okay. So, nighttime comes. Oh, good. So I'm going to run off a small batch of flyers. Are we leaving this town tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> eh, if I work through the night, I could get the bus up and running. Uh, no, it's fine. In that case, I'll just run the flyers off tonight. I won't actually send them around town. All right. Uh, by the way, Jason. Hmm. The fuck type of beer do you want? Do you want that thing making? Well, really, it's not going to be beer. It's more along the lines going to be moon, some form of moonshine. Oh yeah. Uh, the hooch distillery. Yeah. Tess is currently passed out while with a uh, hugging a bottle of vodka. Actually, no. She's still awake. Fondling my nuts? No. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Save that for your guys' bus. <laughs> no. This is the bang bus now, damn it. <laughs> Actually, this is my truck, and I will press, and I will press plan Y. Plan Y. Indeed. Plan Y. Plan, why don't you get the fuck? Why don't you get the fuck out? Because it's my truck. <laughs> well, he has a point. It's his truck. Fucking cock blocker. Hey. It's there... it's his truck. Hey, there's a motel over there. Always could go to the motel again. I mean, best. Through the rad comfy. storm. Uh, rad storm dissipated a while ago. Ah, fuck it. Let's go. 
<laughs> Oi, before you go, what type of hoot? I gotta, I actually have to plan this. Uh, like, do you want, do you want moon, like moonshine vodka, moonshine bourbon, moonshine whiskey? Whis moonshine whiskey. Whiskey all day. <laughs> oh, yes. God, you both, you both are rednecks. <laughs> Whiskey's the best drink, though. What? Actually, I can tell you that's a maybe. I picked up a bottle of apple brandy, and oh my god, in two days it was nearly gone. <laughs> well, I haven't had that yet, so. Apple brandy's good. But yeah. Had some apple moonshine down in Gatlinburg. Ooh. That was pretty fun. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now you guys can go to the motel. Dust is, is half asleep, so she's willing to kind of go wherever. So, okay, we're going. Just don't fall asleep when we're busy. Oh. Uh, I think my blood will be pumping too fast to let me sleep. Or I'll be pumping too fast. <laughs> Of course you would be. Pokes the side of your face. Yeah. <laughs> Zarek has the back doors open. Currently sm currently having a good smoke. Well, those guys walking towards the motel. Hey Jed. Yeah. So I take I take you made yourself a wonderful little thing of uh drugs. I did, and I got these flyers to go with them. Why do you have flyers? Well, to put them up around town. I specifically look at the flyer just to see what it all says. It says free super drugs. And it, on, on the bottom of each one, several tabs are attached. Ah, uh, crap, I forget. I know, I know they're a pain in the ass when you actually go into Vault City, but when you're in the outskirts of Vault City, do they actually give two shits? Nope. Okay, cool. I, I don't worry. I plan to get somebody else to put the flyers up. That was no rats, Tom. Yeah. Well, you can always ask little Timmy. He's always trying to, yeah. he's always just trying yeah. to escape that priest. Uh, Timmy sounds like a good idea. I'll remember that, okay? Anyway, eh, here, throws you a new Coca-Cola. Oh, cheers, thank you. Yeah, it gains one uh, cap. Well. <laughs> so, yeah. Jed and Zarek enjoy their night drinking. Jed... Completely raving about his new super drugs. Well, I'm not completely raving about them. Just very happy. While Zarek installs his new terminal. Sorry? While Zarek installs Jed's new terminal into his into his ambulance. Oh, that's very kind of you. Oh god, no. No blue star cap, please. <laughs> I don't want to be hunted. Although I'm pretty sure Zarek has a few blue star bottle caps. Oh yeah. Morning comes. Jed is asleep, snuggling against his vat filled with super drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am sorry, but that's all I can imagine. If Jed goes to sleep, he's snuggling his super drug vat. Oh, it's important to me. I'm, uh, <laughs> don't you snuggle the things that you love? I did. Ow. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> Ow, that actually hurt a little bit. That's depressing. Zarek has a sad now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
No, I, as soon as that came out of my mouth, I'm like, oh, 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 oh ow. Uh, good job, you. Oh, that would have hurt my heart if it wasn't already dead. <laughs> Crap and Tessa wake up in the motel. The bed's broken. See, that's the only way to do it. Why are you but, saying that like it's the first time? But oh. Jason, <laughs> oh. Jason currently has no idea if the bed was broken before or after because fallout. It would explain the spring up his ass. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I can explain why the cat's incontinent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I pray I did not hear that correctly, and I'm going to pray to the devil for that. 